Hi and welcome back to another Amazon selling video. Today I am just out here sourcing to replan some of the stuff that I've been selling and just look for new stuff. I don't really have any like big plans for the day. Honestly it's cold here in Oregon and they say it might snow tonight so my whole plan is to just make it back before the snow because where I'm from in Oregon there is not a whole lot of snow that ever happens and everything shuts down and so thus I do not know how to drive in the snow. So that's my whole goal today is to get home by five or six and just keep watching the weather. All right, my first store as always is Walmart because that's where I get my boxes because they have the best boxes. I think Home Depot also does even though if you buy boxes at Home Depot, make sure the longest side can't be over 25 inches and I think they started making 26 inch boxes there so just keep an eye out on that. It's too close to Valentine's Day so I'm gonna head into and look for hopefully Easter stuff but since Valentine's Day is like four days away or something, it might not actually be out yet, but if it is, I will be scanning it. So let's head into Walmart and see what we find. hopped over to Target because it was right across the street. I spent about $150 at Walmart and $100 at Target. I didn't get a whole lot of stuff at either store, but I did get some great items. So I got a couple cookie bundles. I shared one in the bolo group and then I have another one that I got for myself also. So I got those. A lot of times if you're scanning something that is like a grocery item that obviously Amazon sells, so you're not gonna be able to compete with that. But if you scan the front of it, like you're taking a photo, it will pop up different bundle options. And those are where the real money is because you're taking the extra effort to bundle them together and you can charge more and get more profits. Here's another crazy one I grabbed and I just wanted to tell you about it because it's a calendar and it makes good money and we're in February, people are still buying calendars. But I just wanted to share it because someone shared a calendar, not this calendar, just another calendar last year in the Bolo group. So guess what? I still, today, scan calendars. So I found this winner. And then I also found toys. Right now, since the whole spring reset is coming out, there's a bunch of new toys. So anything that is new, that says new, like these all said new, something was new about them, or it's just new to you. Like I've scanned a lot of things and I go down the aisle and I'm like, oh, that's new. I've never seen that before. So I scanned it and lo and behold, profit. And then you just can't scan, you know, the first one if it's something that has a bunch of different colors or a bunch of different characters, but it's all in the same thing. So like WWE has all the different characters, but they're all on one peg. So I scan all of them. And just really quickly, because there's a little bit of miscommunication out there. So if your app is ever running slow, make sure you're either connected to the Wi-Fi or disconnect for the Wi-Fi. So when I was in Walmart, it was going really slow. So I just disconnected from the Walmart Wi-Fi and then it worked faster on my cell. And it could be vice versa. If you don't have good cell coverage, go ahead and connect to the store with Wi-Fi. Now the miscommunication comes because there's people who are saying, oh, Amazon will shut you down if you're using you know, that IP address or that Wi-Fi, it'll really mess with it. And I have contacted Amazon and they told me, no, it no longer matters. Like if you and your roommate have an account, totally separate accounts, like business accounts on Amazon, you can use the same computer because they no longer look at the IP address as a red flag. If you're in a situation where you and your roommate are going to sell as two separate accounts, I would still email Amazon just to make sure, but what they told me is it no longer matters. So that hope that helps you if you're scared to use the store Wi-Fi. If you don't even know what I'm talking about, don't worry, just use the store's Wi-Fi. <laughs> And while we're talking about phones not working, if you're having trouble in the store, literally I will put a bunch of stuff in like the upper part of the shopping cart. It usually happens more often at Marshalls, but it did happen at Walmart and Target. And I'll just go to like the, a different area of the store. Usually the front of the store, I'll scan them all and then I'll go put them back. Because sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. If your phone's not working right, that or unfortunately I just leave the store. I've done that a few times as well. At Target, I found another hot item and a toy, so it's brand new to me. It costs $7.99, it's selling for $38.99, and I'm gonna make $21, and it's a lightweight item. So that was a real winner, and that is kind of all that really big happened at Target. Also, just wanted to note that whatever store you're at, it happens at Kohl's, Target, and Walmart. If you ever see these tags where it's like only available at Target, I always scan those because usually those will go up in price. And last little tip before I take off for Grocery Outlet, 
if you do online arbitrage OA, go ahead and look at Target for hearth and hand kitchen stuff because they didn't have it in store. And I kind of did a quick search on the Target app, but there's a lot of kitchen stuff by hearth and hand, which is the Magnolia brand that's going for money on Amazon. So just a little tip for you. And I'm going to head over to grocery outlet where I hope to fill the truck up. Let's see how I do. Okay, slight change of plans because the threat of snow and ice was becoming more imminent. I just went ahead and continued shopping. So I'm at my last store right now and I'm gonna fill you in on what I found from the other stores. So the first thing is to check expiration dates and you should always check expiration dates, especially at places like Grocery Outlet or Ollie's or any kind of like discounted food area place. If the product doesn't have one, sometimes Beauty does it and Amazon will ask for it. That's totally fine. I just make up a date. So there's a couple different things with the expiration dates on Amazon. So I think Amazon actually requires you to label them. I have literally never put an expiration date on the product. My theory is that if they wanted it on there, it would be on there. So I'm not going to add them on there. I've never gotten it in trouble and it's never been a problem. But you always want to check expiration dates. It has to be 90 days out. I do 120 days out. So right now it's February and I'm shopping. The closest stuff I'm shipping in is June. So I really quickly wanted to share this item and why it's so important to, if you have the time or you want to take that extra step, scan the front of the product because at Grocery Outlet I found this item and it doesn't make money. It's literally like $4 for a single one, but if I bundle it three or two packs, suddenly I'm making a lot more money. I've blurted out because I shared it in the Bolo group and so I don't want to share it here. You definitely want to check into bundles because you can make a lot of profit there. This is a little freebie for you from Grocery Outlet. I have a few more coming up. It's Lamisil. It's like a, I don't know, athlete's foot thing. But I want to point it out because while it doesn't make $5 profit, so I didn't buy it, you can, since there's no FBA sellers right now, you can literally just name your price. So it is going for 14 I'd probably do 15.99 and in that case it probably would make money because it's only missing what a dollar fifty but it's just something to know that if it's no FBA sellers that's always a great thing that means your FBA product will get the buy box and you can charge a little more for it so I would probably do 15.99 16.99 just play with it and see so that's a grocery outlet so I'm not 100% sure how many of this item I bought but I bought a lot of them. And normally I would say I test with four to six items. So I got some toys at Target that I actually tested and I'm like, there was, I think I could have got 12, but I just went ahead and got six because I'm not sure. And I don't want Amazon to come on the listing and just totally drop the price. And now I'm sitting there with stock, not making money. This one, here's why I bought a lot of it. One, it was inexpensive and it was really light. So it was 349 for it. I've sold the brand in the past and it always sells. So that's like something I know. So if I have a history with it, like it's sold before, it always does well. Jurassic Park right now, I mentioned in a couple videos ago how I got those Walmart hidden clearance for a dollar. You literally, if you can find Jurassic Park right now, buy it because it is probably hot. You, I've been looking for it all day today and I can't find any. So it's like things like that. When you know the brand is hot, so this one is a beauty product. I know the brand is hot. I've sold it before for years. So I know, and I just went ahead and got, I don't know how many I got. It's probably like 20 something. Okay, two more freebies for you. If you watch my channel, then you already know this, but I don't sell if Amazon is selling it. So I didn't buy this one, but it's at Grocery Outlet. If you want to come and get it, it's got a great rank. And then I also do $5 minimum profit. So this one is 99 cents and it makes 328, but it's not $5. And so I just said, hey, I'll just give it to you. So there's a freebie at Grocery Outlet. They've actually seen them for a while. So they're probably still going to be there for a little bit. Okay, so that was just the one Grocery Outlet and I was there for three hours. And then around noon, I saw like the winter warning. Literally everyone in the stores is talking about the snow coming. The radio's like Portland's going to get six inches. I'm closer to Salem than I am Portland. So it wasn't, I'm, I don't think it's still rain right now. So I think it'll be all right. We might get some snow, who knows? But anyways, people are worried about me out driving. So I figured I might as well just cut the store. So I didn't go to any TJ Maxx's, Home Goods, or Marshall's, which I really like going to, but honestly, Grocery Outlet has been so good to me. I just went straight to another Grocery Outlet. I just prioritized with the limited time. So if you have limited time, 
don't go into a store that is going to take forever and you have to scan. I'm going to grocery outlet because I already know what I'm looking for and it's super easy and fast to go in and out. So once I did three hours at the one, the next grocery outlet took me maybe an hour. Okay, so back to a new Target. So at this Target, I was looking for toys again. Someone in the Bolo group gave me a Bolo to look out for. So I went and I actually found it and they were on sale there. It's a board game and board games are buy two, get one free. So I got three of them. And then when I went to another Target, I got another one. But I just wanted to point out really quickly that most of the toys I'm sourcing, I mean, People source all different things, but for me personally, I'm mostly sourcing boys toys right now. It's a lot of action figures and that kind of stuff. So definitely, you know, just scan anything. If you need help ungating in toys, I can definitely help you out with toys. I can help you out with grocery, OTC, topical, um, all the big brands. So Star Wars, Lego, uh, Hasbro, Marvel, all that kind of stuff definitely check out the guide they are new seller specific you don't have to have sold a single thing and you can get ungated so check those out i went to one more walmart where i was able to get big boxes they had them there and then i got the same stuff the same toys that i got at the other walmart so that was awesome and now i went to one last target where I got a few more stuff and I was like, okay, remember before I said, okay, I'm not gonna take any risks after that whole debacle of my massive risk taking on a Nana whatever doll from Target over Christmas and that failed. I lost money. I think altogether I lost $150 on that risk. So I said, I'm not gonna take any more risks. I literally just said that yesterday. And now I've got some toys that I'm taking risks, but I'm taking calculated risks. Or that's what I'm telling myself because it's brands that I've sold before so I know that they'll sell the risk in it is that Amazon is not selling it right now and they're newer and so I'm not sure if Amazon's gonna sell it and really the best way to play anything that's new so like when Easter candy comes out as soon as you see it on shelf is when it's gonna be the highest profit because it's just coming out and everyone else hasn't seen it yet same thing with toys when they're just coming out Amazon doesn't have it yet you may never get it but you just never know so you want to get in quickly and then just know when to get out if Amazon starts coming or you start to see more sellers and the price starts to go down that's when it's time to maybe stop sourcing it so I got one more store Fred Meyer where I'm gonna look for those Jurassic Park things that's really it and then I'm gonna get some groceries and head back home before my mom freaks out because the snow is coming so I will fill you in after I pack up the shipment and if there's any snow, I will take a little quick video and, and put it here. So I made it back before any of the snow or ice happened. Actually Thursday night was just a little bit of snow with a nice little dusting and it melted off. But then Friday, the freezing rain happened and we actually ended up losing power Friday evening. All the way for four days we just got power back a day ago so that was an adventure normally losing power wouldn't matter in an RV because we boondock which is camping on free land but also without any amenities so we're only using our own battery power anyways but unfortunately because we ripped up the RV for the renovation there was no sinks attached and I had ripped up the stove so that we could do the countertops underneath it so there wasn't even a place to cook so we were literally using our solar power from the RV to generate a heater and power charge things in the house, which was kind of funny. And then everyone in the area moved into their RVs because you know it's easier to keep it warm when you don't have electric power in the house. But we got our power back on, so anyways, that was just an update. Again, I'm in Oregon, I'm not in Texas where it's still ongoing there. I did pack up the whole shipment without power. I used the RV, ran a cord charged my laptop. I had to do it in a little bit of stages, so it took me the normal time. It wasn't a huge shipment. So quantity rise, it was 236 items, and you'll see here my total profit estimated again because nothing has sold yet. I've just sent it in. So the estimated profit I expect to make on it is $1,986. It'll really probably be $1,900 after the shipping. I did send to three different warehouses, one here in Oregon, all the majority of it went to California and then one in Texas, which now that I'm saying that, now I'm worried about my shipment. Probably, luckily it was only one item. But I wouldn't expect that it'll get there anytime soon. So as always, I'm just gonna quickly run through the breakdown of categories and what was profitable, like what my most profitable category was. And then I also went ahead and broke it down by replen and bolo. So replen is items that I'm replenning, obviously I'm replenishing them, I'm going to get more, I've sold them before. And then I also included branch replens because I was like, do I really call it a 
replen when it's not the exact same item, but it's a brand. So it's the same brand or it's a like item, different color, different flavor, all of that kind of stuff. So that's how I broke them out. The same with the Bolo group. It's either a direct Bolo lead or it's a branch lead. Something I found because I was looking for that brand or that item. So those are the branch leads. So yeah, let me just jump into it. So my most profitable category was grocery and that is entirely because I am shopping grocery outlets. So like I mentioned, I really prioritize grocery outlets and the reason why was because health, beauty, and grocery are all there and so I got a lot of great finds. The toys really came from Walmart and Target. Almost $600, 30% of my total profit was from grocery. Health, 545, 77 units, 27%. Beauty, 36 units for $200 profit. And then toy was the other big one. So I did find some toys that were new toys. So they're still holding their price, which is awesome. 63 for another almost third of my shipment. And then we have here the replens. So the total that I consider replens are 119 for thousand dollars of profit, 53% of my total shipment. The branch were quite a few and normally that's normal. You would have more branch because there's more variety in branch. The Bolo group helped me find 48 items for the shipment for $433. And that's why I'm always saying the Bolo group pays for itself. Total ROI is 111%. I'm going to assume that it's going to come out to about 80%. So if I'm guessing, I'm going to say that while I'm saying it's going to make me $1,900 in estimated profit, it'll probably be closer to $1,500 for the shipment, which is not bad when I had a cut short in my shopping day. So that is really all I have for you for this video. I hope it was helpful. If there's anything you'd rather see or want to see when I'm outsourcing, please let me know because I really enjoy making the videos while I'm outsourcing, even though sometimes I have to like pause and get to sourcing because that's its own whole thing. But let me know what you want to see and I will make sure to cover it in a future video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you back here for another Amazon selling video.